everyone and welcome back to Disco Zoo, the bright, colorful, absolutely adorable pixelated zoo. Ah, oh, there's some more coins. Everybody's been throwing coins on the ground lately. You think, wouldn't it be cool if you could get a fountain upgrade? Oh, I would love that if you could have like a fountain upgrade in the middle of all like the paths by your exhibits where when people threw amazing coins like this, like a, hundred, a thousand coins, sometimes they throw a thousand coins, like 100 coins, 25 coins. When they throw them down, if the fountain could like just suck all the coins up and collect them for you, that would be so useful. Full. But we are back here in Disco Zoo because we have some really awesome things to do today. None the least includes going off to find a fez that one of our Martians are wearing. So we are going to go check out uh, which hat that is and we are still going to keep it. We are totally going to keep it. In fact, let me go ahead and just jump because it takes forever. Oops, those are dinosaurs. We've got to keep moving past the dinosaurs, past the moon animals. Here's our moon rocks. So we're going to see which one of our Martians is wearing the hat of Fez. So it's the, the Marmoset. So the Marmoset is wearing the hat. So Marsmoset. There we go. So we're going to buy him a little hat. Look at him. He's got a little Fez on now. That's really adorable. So poor little guy. We will try to find some other Marsmosets so that it is not alone in just a little bit. We also have a whole bunch of the adorable rovers, which I thought was really adorable and cute and we've got the Martian so we've got the Martian and oh that's right the Mars Mullow <laughs> <laughs> so we have quite a few of the lunar animals and the Mars animals now. I love the living rocks. Those are actually pretty hilarious. I think they're one of my favorite exhibits in the entire zoo. And we have also gotten up to 1,004 animals. And I have achieved that almost entirely through doing space pin uh, shipping tons of times over and over and over again. We now have over 1,000 space coins, which is extremely useful. Can I ship anything else? No, can't ship anything out just yet. But while I have been gathering all of those uh, space coins, it has let me collect so many new animals. So actually, let's just go all the way over. Oh, there's coins. I'm ignoring coins. So we have collected enough to get the gold statue in both the pig and the rabbit. I'm getting there on the bronze statue on the cow and the unicorn. We also have a diamond statue, diamond platypus, which I think is pretty amazing. So we've got the diamond platypus, we've got a gold kangaroo, we've got a couple bronze statues, we've got a silver statue for crocodiles, and I'm working on koalas. They're kind of hard to find because they're just like three little itty bitty squares, so I'm still putting those together. Then we've also got gold zebra and hippo, silver giraffe and bronze lion, elephant and no griffin yet, but we're getting there. So let's see. Um, and I've built a few things over here in the polar area. The progress is going really well in the jungle area now. I still don't have the phoenix though, but that's because we need to finish getting enough of the phoenixes. But basically going off and collecting that many animals so that we're now up to 1,004 animals means, you guys, that there is a new thing we can buy. The Time Pony! We're gonna get it. It's gonna unlock the Ice Age, which I'm super excited about and it's super expensive. So I have been saving up for a very long time. It is going to be 1,500,000 coins. And that is a lot of money. <laughs> that is so much money, but we're gonna do it. Oh my gosh, there we go. It's our little Time Pony. And apparently it's gonna let us go back into the Ice Age. So I wonder if it's kind of like a time machine and a helicopter and a refrigerator, it looks like. All had a baby. And apparently it's gonna give us the ability to go into the Ice Age. So let's do this. All right, Ice Age. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder what we're gonna find. I wonder if they have saber tooths. I wonder if they have like, oh my gosh, what if they have mammoths? Oh, so many things. So many things. I don't even know. What if they have giant sloths? I love giant sloths. They're just, oh, one of the most amazing things. Oh my goodness, I think this is like a wolf. Oh my gosh. All right. How are you guys laid out? I need to figure out. Oh boy. Oh boy. No! Okay, Um, we're gonna be done because this is gonna let us learn. So it goes, oh man, this is gonna be tricky. Okay, I'm gonna try again. That looks like a rhino, like one of the prehistoric rhinos. Oh my gosh, okay. So there's part of him. And there's part of him. Um, hmm. Oh man, okay, I'm done. So this guy is shaped like that. I think I've memorized one. Oh my gosh, there's a mythical. Okay, we're gonna have to, oh goodness. I have literally no idea what shape he could be in. We might be spending some disco bucks. The good news is we just got a disco box. So we're gonna go ahead and buy another attempt. 
I have no idea the shape that it can be in. Oh, oh, okay, hang on a second, you guys. Okay, here we go, Ice Age, Ice Age, okay. Um, is that gonna help? Is this gonna help? Okay, all right, almost there. Please, 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 <gasps> we got it, we got it, what? <laughs> The occult? I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is. Is it like an orca? I think it's like a land orca. It's a mythical land orca. So we have gotten a mythical land orca, you guys. I'm kind of blown away. Is it a land shark? Is that what we're looking at here? I swear that has to be a saber tooth. Okay, we're gonna, ooh, and I found the saber tooth. All right, and we need to figure out, okay, I think this guy is like this. Oh my gosh, I love the giant sloth so much and we have him in the prehistoric area Oh, I'm gonna be so happy to collect as many of these guys as we can. All right, so this is gonna be kind of tricky So saber tooth is like one over here and then two down here. These are gonna be tricky to find you guys Because this is totally new. Okay, here's our here's mr. Giant sloth being absolutely adorable And let's see I'm trying to remember and then he'll go up here and here Yay! All right, I'm figuring it out. So at least I've got the giant sloth figured out. And the saber tooth, I'm gonna try to figure out in a second too. All right, saber tooth. And then I think it was like one way up here. No, okay, hang on. Oh, sweet. I got the woolly rhino. Oh, okay. So he's kind of like, kind of like a zebra spread out a little bit. And then this guy, okay. So he's got two at the back and then one up front. All right, I like trying to like teach myself to memorize these and that is definitely a woolly mammoth. Oh my gosh, you guys, we've got so many new things. All right, so here's a woolly mammoth and it's looking pretty awesome and apparently it's rare. Where would it be? Come on, you guys, man. All right, so woolly mammoth is like this. Wolf is like a four, but then spread. There's the mythical guy again. Oh gosh, it's gonna take me a while to start remembering like what pattern these guys are in. Okay, mythical guy, I think was he like over here? And then something ridiculous. Yes, all right, so we actually have <laughs> two land sharks. I can't get the easier guys because I forget them too much. Okay, diagonals, diagonals for the woolly rhino. I can do this, diagonals for the woolly rhino. So that means he's gonna be right here. There we go, see? It's a really fun way to try to train your memory up, that's for sure. And then, let me see. Okay, so where are you gonna be, my little friend? Is it gonna be, are you right here? And then, so where does that mean? Are you like right over here? No, I think I had it backwards. I did have it backwards, okay. All right, I think I've got this. We've got this, let's see if we can catch ourselves the saber tooth cat, which I'm trying to remember. He was kind of like so, and then I think down here? Yes, all right, we got the saber tooth, you guys. Huzzah, we're starting to get somewhere now. We're starting to get somewhere, I just have to like remember where everything is. These are new shapes, new patterns. And here is the last one. I think this is gonna be like maybe a, a timber, like a, not timber wolf, cause those guys are still around. Maybe like a dire wolf sort of thing. So, oops, okay, I totally misjudged where the, the sloth was going to be. Hmm, if sloth is here, then, oh, then the sloth is gonna be right here, right here, and right here. I get it now, I get it now. All right, so let's keep going. Just a little bit more here, and then we might do some space adventures, because I want to see if we can try to get the last guy. And I wasn't paying attention to memorize his pattern. Oh my goodness. What am I doing, you guys? Oh, what am I even doing? Oh my gosh. All right, so let's see. Is this going to be Mr. Sloth? So I figured out how to get the giant sloth, which is kind of hilarious, because they are one of my favorites. So I could see how I would memorize that. And then Wooly Rhino is going to be here. All right, slowly but surely, slowly but surely, I am figuring this out. And here is the saber tooth. Oh my gosh, there is the saber tooth, you guys. Um, unfortunately, after that point, I can't really remember where the rest of him is. Is it back here? Darn it. Um, here, here, was it here? Dang it, I wanted the rest of the saber tooth. Oh, top corner, two down, diagonal. Uh, however, oh, and there's this guy. All right, so let's try to find this guy, even if it means I have to spend a buckaroo at some point. 
because it would be good. He's a common one too. And we got him a dire wolf! I was right! All right, so it was the dire wolf. There we go, you guys. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be our little ground, well, not so little, our giant sloth. And that is so good. So that is the Ice Age area. And we have the Ice Inquirer review. Great D+. It's improving. Decent Akulat exhibit, which is kind of exciting that we got so many of the mythological for that zone. And then one of the... <laughs> One of our visitors has lost their hat in the Jurassic Zone of all places. And actually, I kind of feel like going to the Jurassic today. So we might go check out... Oh, the Diplodocus has a cute little Santa hat. So we might go check out the Jurassic Zone in just a second here. Let's see, let's see. Um, Maybe let's go to the jungle for a second, though. We're looking for three monkeys, one tiger, and one... One toucan. So let's see if we can do something about that real fast. All right, into the jungle we go. So three monkeys, tiger, and a toucan. All right, hopefully we can find everybody okay. All right, so here's the toucan. And we're going to send it off into space. Prep for space, Mr. Toucan. And unfortunately, we don't have enough uh, enough oomphs to be, get, be able to get the monkey. So let's keep moving. All right, ooh, the phoenix is here. I usually find this to sometimes be an easy way to search for a phoenix, but we're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna release a gorilla. Woo! All right, we're gonna have a little gorilla party in a second. Oh, darn it. All right, where else could I guess? Oh, no, it's gonna be here, isn't it? Yep, so I know where it would be. It would be right there. You kind of have to just guess where the phoenix is gonna be, but if you can find one, it's so easy to know where the other piece is supposed to be. All right, and I have managed to unearth the toucan. Fantastic, we already have the one we need for space, so this one can head on out. And we've got a panda! Yay! We've just released our panda, that's so exciting. We're gonna get all the trophies, you guys, all of the trophies. All right, so let's see. Here's one of the monkeys. I think we needed three monkeys, there's so many monkeys. And then for the panda, I need to see if I can find, not here, not, not there, wait, 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 and we found the other panda! See, once you start learning the patterns, it gets a lot easier and it's so much fun because you're so proud of yourself. You're like, yes, I remembered. Ah, there's the tiger we need. Now, sometimes I find it nifty to be able to do this for the tiger and prep for space because if you go straight down the middle, often there's a chance you could miss it, but often you'll run into the tiger. All right, what about here? And here, there we go. And we're only one away from the Phoenix as well. So it'll be exciting if we can find Max Phoenix in just a second here. All right, we need to find the monkey. So here's another one of the three. No, I released it. As I'm saying that, I released the monkey. Oh, why, why, cruel world. All right, well, at least I have a toucan we can release. I was on autopilot. I was like, sure, little monkey. I was looking for you, and I just, like, release it. Oh, gosh. All right, so here's the panda. See, you can really start getting into a groove once you figure out where to find everybody. Um, And nope, I'm not going to find the gorilla, and that's just fine. He's going to be up top, up here. Yep, there you were. There you were. I just missed you just barely, buddy. All right, so, well, let's see if we can find the last phoenix, and that will be our big hurrah for the day. Um, so he could be here, or he could be here. No, that's the toucan. Okay, then that means phoenix could be here. Oh, boy. Here? Oh, my gosh. <gasps> we found the last phoenix! Yes! All right, so we have now completed finding all of the phoenixes that, that we need for our zoo. So I'm going to call that a pretty good day. All right, we've gone to the Ice Age. We found the Phoenix. I'm going to snag this monkey for space really quickly. And we'll prep you for space too, monkey. And then, let's see, any luck with tiger here or here? All right, and we've actually got an extra tiger that we can release to work on the bronze trophy. So huzzah, let's go back to the zoo and read our new review. 
improved review from Jungle Journal. Grade A+. Plus. Amazing zoo! No complaints from Jasmine Ungle. Well, that makes me super happy, and hopefully we can send off some of our little creatures to space. Now we're just missing two more monkeys and a toucan, ironically, so we'll work on that next time. And we've also started work on... Do -do 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 Ta-da! The new Ice Age animal exhibits, and I think actually we're missing one. We are! We're missing one of the Ice Age animals, you guys, so we will have to go back and try to discover what the last Ice Age animal is next time. And not to mention, we'll try to get some more trophies, so this is really going great. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!